everybody, welcome back to our Disney Cruise Vlog series. Today is day five and our final day of our Disney Cruise on board the Magic. We just docked at Disney's private island, Castaway Key, and we're so excited to get on the island and we've got some plans today to do some things we've not done in a long time. Of course, things are always subject to change, but we're so excited, we're really tired. So first, we gotta go get some just like light breakfast at Cabana's and then head out. Let's go. All right, we got a Mickey churro, which I heard they do on the last day on the match. I'm so excited to try this and some toast and some tea. Okay, the churro waffle was amazing. So amazing. So make sure that you don't miss it on your last day on the magic. Now on the magic, you have to go to deck one aft or forward to disembark at Castaway Key. We're getting in the line now to disembark. You gotta make sure you have your key to the world card anything you need for the day on the island. I do have a video on the channel saying everything you need to pack for Castaway Key and a valid photo ID. So we're gonna get off the ship now. You just have your key card out. We're gonna enjoy a great day. Okay, fam, we officially made it to one of our favorite places in the world, Disney's Castaway Key, and more specifically, Serenity Bay, the adults only beach. You can see here just how beautiful it is. I love the colorful umbrellas, the classic Disney Cruise Line chairs. One thing I wanna point out for um, returning guests, you may have noticed in recent years that there's been a really sharp and kind of steep pitch towards the beach and the chairs have been on an angle like these behind me. Well, Disney has flattened out the kind of the top and the shade under these palm trees, so you can lay totally flat. It's really nice, it's a lot more comfortable. Also, we've seen a lot of really nice updates to the islands, just improvements, new um, signage, you know, kind of cleaning up the tram stops and shopping, uh, additions and things of that nature. So Disney and Cruise Line does such a great job of keeping up with things. Now we're going to go just sit and enjoy some time in the water and relax. Like I said, this is one of our favorite places in the world. This is definitely a place that you go to in your mind in the middle of the winter or on a really hard day. So just to get to be here is such a treat. I'm not sure what we're going to get into. We brought all of our stuff to Snorkel. Disney Cruise Line uh, did a great job with making a really fun snorkeling spot here and submerging lots of little Disney Easter eggs around the island that you can find. And of course, uh, we'll have to meet up with Evangeline at some point. We bypassed Pelican Plunge this morning because we were just ready to relax out here and get a chair. We may go over and do the slides in a little bit, but of course I will keep you guys updated with everything. So we have decided to come up for an early lunch at Serenity Bay Barbecue. It's 11.46, they open at 11.30. We just wanted to get in a little ahead of the line. Although I don't think it'll be as bad on the magic and before the heat gets too bad. So let's go in there and see what they have today. All right, so here are our choices today at Serenity Bay Barbecue. We've got grilled sweet corn salad, macaroni pasta salad, and coleslaw. Everything looks delicious and all the cold uh, salads here are normally delicious. Over here we've got a red skin potato salad that everybody in our family really loves. Over here there's different toppings for hot dogs, hamburgers, or sandwiches. There's lettuce, pickle, onion, tomato, and cheese. Here we have buns for hamburgers or sandwiches. We've got hot dog buns, and then over here we've got chocolate chip cookies, chocolate brownie, 
We've got the pineapple muffin bar and warm Texas cornbread. So while the area I just showed you guys is self-serve, this area is not the grill. You can get a hamburger cheeseburger, sauerkraut. Oh, thank you so much. There is ooh, corn and a vegetarian bean chili. Thank you. And then over here, Cajun Spice Rotisserie Chicken. That looks delicious. Thank you so much. Oh, short ribs. Wonderful. Thank you. He just mentioned they also have ribeye steak you can get. Over here, you can see we've got lots of fresh fruit, honeydew, cantaloupe, watermelon, my favorite, mango, pineapple, and grapes. Over here, they've got kind of a sauce station. They've got um, hummus in the back, pineapple chili and cilantro salsa, amazing. Tzatziki, garlic aioli, and pico de gallo. And as always, at the Cerny de Barbecue, there is classic and barbecue chips. Our choice of soft serve today is strawberry, banana, vanilla, and chocolate. All right, here's my plate. We got hot dog, macaroni, corn salad, lots of fruit and toppings. I got a couple chips too and some vitamin water, so let's go enjoy. So I hope you guys can see behind me. I know I talked about this on The Wish, but look like so much less crowded. So many more tables available. We had to table stock to get a seat on The Wish. Now, this is a much nicer experience. And then also, way in the background, for Meredith, they have beefed up the bird protection. There are lines built up probably, what do you, how many feet tall do you think that is, Hunter? Seven seven or eight feet tall so that the birds aren't in here on the tables which is actually really nice especially for Meredith. Big things are happening right now on Castaway Key. That is a cookie saucer crumble mix. Culinary creations at Castaway Key. <laughs> and Team Underbaked is obviously back at it again. These cookies of course I didn't wait to get back to the table to have a bite. Underbaked warm perfection. It's not technically Big Island cookie anymore, but it's still equally delicious. We're having a reapplying sunscreen session. Lunch at uh, the Serenity Day Barbecue is delicious, don't you guys think? Yeah, yeah. that's an excellent lunch. You had salmon. I did, yeah, I put it on a burger and it was excellent. That sounds really good. What'd you have? I had I say a, a hot dog. Burger. It is a, a burger bun. A yeah. burger bun. You guys know what we meant. A hot dog, I did a hot dog too. Everything was delicious. And now we just been out here kind of like relaxing. We're gonna go put on sunscreen and I think try and find Evangeline if we can. Spang. She's probably at the family beach, isn't she? Yeah, she is. She's ready for us to come. Oh, she is? Yeah. We've been summoned by a smudger. So we're going to just relax a little bit and then go find her. Alrighty. On our way to find a smanji. There are little souvenir shops and like shops where you can get things you may have forgotten on Castaway Key, like beach toys. So there's by the seashore and then there's like Castaway Key specific merchandise. Ooh, beach towels, which of course you don't need, they'll be provided on the ship. But that is super cute. Then there's Olaf's where you can get little frozen drinks. There's stands, there's rentals. So we love this cute little area. Hi, ma'am. We've been looking for you. How are you today? <laughs> Good? What you been doing? Look. Hey, we're going. Oh, you look awesome. I'm in my Fishing, 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 fishing
take the best shower of the year the shower after castaway i'm telling everyone it's the best shower of the year i don't know why but on castaway i don't know if it's like the heat the sunscreen the humidity something on the water or this like sand sorry i just took my vitamin but like you just need a shower after this worse than any other place so let's go get cleaned up okay we have officially had the best shower of the year and now you know after you've been on castaway you had your picnic lunch. You have to go upstairs for a snack. I mean, I don't make the rules. Snack time, let's go. This is Pinocchio's. Look at all the ovens that they have. You gotta make sure you come up every day because they'll have a special pizza. I got pepperoni, but the special today is mushroom. We got a heck of an order here. They let us have a tray from the duck and daughter because I saw the desperation in our eyes. Okay, I stopped mid makeup. I'm like, I'm just gonna go like look and see if they have a Christmas ornament because I didn't want it to get like too crazy tonight on the last night when I was shopping for everything and I walked down at exactly 5.30 and that's when the shop's open. I'm gonna show you guys some of the merch for the 25th anniversary of seeing. got ready for dinner we just like we skipped the show tonight because we stayed out late on castaway and then wanted to go get a snack and do some shopping i'll share with you guys what i got later and then we got ready and we started doing just some light packing now we're going to the family game show at 7 30 and i'm so excited to see which princess evangeline dressed up like tonight i don't know if you can see my outfit it's like a jumpsuit with a bow detail on the front i've been really heavy on the bows this trip bow dream pair of shoes um because it's animators you know black and white classic animators gotta go with the black outfit and this is it i'll have a whole lookbook and instagram guide after the trip if you guys have any questions about my outfits or pics it'll all be there but for now let's go have some fun while we still have time i start to always get sad on the last night has joined us Evangeline you look amazing will you model for me please <gasps> oh oh okay show us give us a twist of your dress and come here ma'am who are you who are you I'm, I'm Ariel Ariel oh Ariel you look amazing you got the tail fin and here here oh well you look amazing We just walked out on the deck for a little bit and sat and watched the sunset and really enjoyed it. It was so nice. Um, a couple things I wanted to tell you guys. On board, go every day to collect your charm. Go on day one to get your charm bracelet. It's such a nice souvenir that you can get for free. Just check to see where it is. It's usually in the jewelry store and if you just show up between a certain time and ask for your charm, they give you like a charm of the day and a bracelet to put it on and you go home with a really nice souvenir for free. So. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, we're about to go and wait in line to go to dinner at Animator's Palette. This is some of my favorite art. So they have concept art all over the ship. They've got these from Fantasia that are just so 
beautiful. I love these. I wish that I just had more time to walk around and show and share everything with you guys. I also forgot to tell you last night, hey, how are you? We ran into one of our friends in Palo our friends that we met from Lexington, Kentucky in our day one vlog. And they were telling us that the, the gentleman forgot to pack pants for the trip. He thought, I'm going on a cruise to the Caribbean. I don't need pants. He was a first time Disney cruise owner. Did not know that Paulo had a dress code. Well, he went up to tell the restaurant manager, I'm so sorry, like, I'm not gonna be able to come up here. I didn't realize that there was a dress code. I'm gonna have to cancel my reservation. And the restaurant manager told him, don't worry, give me your pant size. We have some that we can send you. So if you go and you're planning on going to Paulo, make sure you just look up the dress codes in advance on the Disney Cruise Line website. And if for some crazy reason you don't remember, go and speak to the restaurant manager. They're so amazing. They really made some magic happen. You got him dressed in square so he can make the Paulo reservation. How cool is that? Everything starts in black and white. All of our sketches and the frames are black and white. There's our friend Dopey over there, Hercules, Mulan, Bambi, and as the night goes, things are gonna change a little bit and I'm gonna keep you guys updated with the progress. classic animators palette menu that we know and love so let's just go through together there's going to be some strobing because of all the lights in here but just bear with us so you know the black truffle pasta presets are the only appetizer for me it is the champion across all disney cruise line appetizers We've got soups and salads. Tonight I'm gonna go for the baked potato and cheddar cheese soup. The bread service here is one of my all-time favorites. And then over here, we have our main courses. I don't know what I'm gonna go with tonight. Normally I go with the beef tenderloin, but I've had a whole lot of steak. Might be time to try some penne. And then as always, there's going to be your vegetarian and lighter note offerings. Hey, we have our bread service and animators, the iconic focaccia, and then roasted garlic dip and butter, yay! All right, so over there we have something really cool. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, there if I angle it up like that. All right, so there on the screen, over there, there is a drawing of Winnie the Pooh, and you can actually, if you sit here and watch it, you can watch it being sketched from start to finish in real time. Such a cool feature and really neat uh, addition to the dinner. what I did. I ordered the smoked salmon tartare as my appetizer. David's here. Hey David. I don't think I've shown David. This is our friend David. He's been amazing. Thank you. So I ordered the smoked salmon tartare as my appetizer. I did the baked potato soup. Um, I didn't do a salad and then I did a double portion of the black truffle pasta for sets for my entree and I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. But the smoked salmon tartare is also really delicious. Delicious, and it's super beautiful. All right, here we have our baked potato and cheddar cheese soup. The smoked salmon tartare was excellent. Okay, the, the salmon tartare is amazing. Um, the flavor is great, the portion is perfect, the cucumber is nice and fresh. Everything about that is just a great way to start and I think the pasta for sets are the best thing. Like I said, it just is like Disney Cruise Line throws down with the black truffle pasta for sets. So I'm super excited to have that as my entree and open up the field for me to get the salmon tartare because usually I just have a little 
sample of it off of other people's. But now it's time for the soup. Let's try it on camera together. We haven't eaten together a lot. I don't like to do that, but let's try it and see what we think. <laughs> mm, that's delicious. Subtle, really good. Not too, like not crazy, but good and comforting. So mom got the chicken, apple, walnut salad. It looks really good. And look, so this is the update. The color is starting to come into Animator's palette. Slowly but surely, we're moving away from black and white and the color is arriving. Truffle pasta is here, guys. I'm gonna show you guys with the light on for like one second. Look at that. Yum. Okay, let's try a black truffle pasta for a set together while we enjoy the show. I got the double portion. This is more like a quadruple portion, which is uh, no complaints here. Amazing. So good, I wanna cry. a rough sketch and then it turned into the movie frame you guys what this is crazy Evangeline this is so magical That show was amazing. I just cried. Did you like the show? She's eating a lemon. She's saying she doesn't like the lemon. She loved the show. Mickey came in, made magic. They had an amazing montage of like all the best Disney moments. 
and we were saying I I don't know why I've cried so much this trip and I think it's because like watching her love it and fall in love with it and oh, it's just so great it's just been so great and Mickey was literally standing right in front of our table we had the best seat in the house the black truffle pasta were set amazing and as an entree it's the move it's the move if you do it let me know comment down below okay we've got animators palette dessert menu let's peek all right here's our desserts crunchy walnut cake chocolate fudge cheesecake cookies and cream sundae warm sticky date pudding one of our all-time favorite desserts and the lemon icebox pie i'm getting lemon icebox pie i love it box pie. George got the sticky date pudding so y'all can peek at that. And the cookies and cream sundae looks amazing. The birthday girl got a special birthday dessert. The princess, or what was it called, the guys? The it was uh, final farewell. No. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Final farewell sounds dark. Okay, the till we meet again was so cute, and there were so many characters there, and the lines were not long. I think because there were so many characters, and like it was just so so sweet. Evangeline was really excited, and then the confetti, 
It was a perfect way to end a trip. The animator show was great. It was just a great day all around. We came back to the room after that and just had to pack up, which is so sad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this vlog series and I cannot wait to take you guys back on board with me again. I love you all so much. I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.